Hi, welcome to this episode of Yo Black World News. I'm your host, Roosevelt Mitchell III. The Kentucky legislature took up felony expungement legislation during this last session, and when the bill passed, attorney Brad Clark quit his job in the public defender's office to exclusively help convicted felons erase their records and restore their rights. Once the law goes into effect, July 15th, state officials say tens of thousands of Kentuckians who've been convicted of certain Class D felonies and who've gone five years beyond the completion of their sentences without picking up any new charges may qualify to have their records expunged. Clark wanted to reach more people to let them know about it as quickly as possible, so he created a web app called Unconvicted.com. Clark is a self-taught programmer and used a TurboTax business model, but for ex-offenders looking to wipe their records clean. How it works is people log on and answer a series of questions in a and about their criminal history. Within 72 hours, they receive a free assessment from Clark whether they qualify under the law to have their records expunged. From there, he charges a fee depending on the level of service he provides. Through the website and Facebook, Clark has already received a bunch of inquiries. Clark says that the majority of people he's spoken to picked up a felony when they were in their early 20s, maybe even 18 or 19. Dave Atkinson, president and CEO of the Kentucky Chamber of Commerce, has also joined in with Clark because of increasing concerns over workforce shortages noting that expungement would potentially help thousands of felons get better jobs. I would love to hear what you think about this and how this lawyer is wanting to help felons not only expunge their records, but also get better jobs to help support their families. So please leave a comment in the section below. You know, you might say, all right, well, this guy's famous, but that doesn't really make you money unless you figure out a way to monetize it. So unless you're getting a bunch of endorsements or unless someone is paying you, because that's you know generally what happens, you get a celebrity and then you know you have endorsements. But if you're a controversial person, how are you going to make your bread? So if you're mm. a music guy, the only way you can make your money is the show and your merch. How else are you making money? Mm. You understand what I'm saying? There's mm. no other way. Unless cool or um, in inconsequential. I just wanted to kind of um, come on here when I was, when I was feeling something. So... Um, with that said, um, what I really want to talk about today is this Roots reboot. I really don't know how to feel about it, to be honest with you. As a, the, the historian in me wants to kind of see, um, you know, the, the, the authentic retelling of the past.